for Fight Day, I'm Maggie Curl standing alongside Uriah Faber, who will be fighting Henan Barrow this Saturday at UFC 149. How's Canada treating you so far? There was a, a quite a few fans that showed up at open workouts today. How how is that overall? Uh, it feels good. I feel like I've got a lot of f fan support here, and it's been a beautiful day. Uh, I seem to like Canada so far. We'll make sure that I make it a real pleasurable week when I come home with the belt. Now, how are you preparing mentally for this fight? You're very positive all the time, but um, you know, with fans and more pressure adding up because this was a, a card that had a lot of fight injuries and things like that, you kind of came to the rescue. How was that? You know, I, at first I was, you know, had my heart set on being on that huge card in Vegas, but you know, you can't dwell on things like that. I'm just ready to fight. You know, this is, uh, there's no time to think about anything but but the guy I'm fighting, you know, he's, he's a dangerous opponent and it's going to be a great fight. So um, I'm just looking forward to putting on a show. Now, speaking of Henan Barrow, how do you view him as a dangerous opponent compared to Dominic Cruz? Well, if we look at pure numbers, Dominic Cruz has zero finishes in Zufa and Barrow has uh, a couple. So, you know, he's already outdone Dominic there and, you know, he's got a lot of finishes, a lot of wins, a lot of finishes. So you have to watch out for... You know, his knees, his kicks, his hands, his his submissions. You know that's a dangerous guy. Where do you think he had? Do you do you see any weakness in his game? I think the biggest weakness is he's fighting me, and uh, other than that, he's pretty solid. What do you think about this interim title? Does that mean anything at all to you, or is it just another fight to get to the title? I think it's uh, it means a lot. You know they they're they're making a statement that this is the the match to say who's the best guy, that's the best guy who's healthy in the UFC, and, and that's what I'm fighting for. Now, Hennan Barrow said he wants to wait if he were to win on Saturday, but Dana would like to see you guys stay active. Is that something that, do you plan on waiting, or do you want to be active in between this? Uh, I, I, I plan on being active, but I'd love for Dominic Cruz to be my next fight, but I'm not going to wait around. You know, who knows what's going to happen with him? He's going to injure himself again, or what's going to happen? You know, I, I don't really plan my stuff around other people. I'm going to be, you know, all about me on this one. Now, since you're both very orthodox fighters and you get very creative in the cage, do you think you'll have to think of some, some new ways to beat Hennan Barrow? I think, you know, I'm always looking to, uh, to do something new in there, and it's all about what opportunities present themselves. So I'll be looking to take advantage of any little opening he gives me, and it may be something that I've never done before. We'll see. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye.